So in our previous discussion, we talked about the definitions of endothermic versus exothermic. This brings us to a wonderful problem from our problem set. I want you to consider the following diagram in which the reactants are at a lower energy level than the products. And then answer these questions. Does this diagram represent an increase or decrease in the internal energy of the system? As we look at it, we can see that going from reactants to products, the products are at a higher energy level than the reactants. Thus, the internal energy, as indicated here on the y-axis, has increased. What sign is given to delta E for this process? Once again, in order to move reactants, my system, from a lower energy level to a higher energy level, they have to have absorbed energy from the surroundings. Thus, we would say that delta E is positive, because there's been a positive net deposit into the system's energy bank account by the surroundings. And our last question, if there is no work associated with this process, is it exothermic or endothermic? Once again, keeping in mind that this process is one in which the surroundings are putting energy into the system. If that energy were solely being transferred as heat rather than work, then we could see that clearly the system is going to have to absorb heat from the surroundings. That represents a positive delta Q and is an endothermic process. Remember, endothermic processes, ones in which the system is absorbing heat from its surroundings, have a positive delta Q. And exothermic processes, ones in which the system gives off heat to its surroundings, have a negative delta Q. So here's another question. Calculate delta E and determine whether the process is endothermic or exothermic for the following cases. A, heat equals 0.763 kilojoules and work equals negative 840 joules. And B, a system releases 66.1 kilojoules of heat to its surroundings while the surroundings do 44 kilojoules of work on the system. Let's begin by looking at part A. How in the world do we determine delta E for that? Well, we have to remember the equation I shared with you earlier that delta E equals heat plus work. In a very straightforward manner in part A, we've been given the value of heat and the value of work. The value of heat is 0.763 kilojoules, and the value of work is negative 0.840 kilojoules. Note that I've converted the original value for work we were given, negative 840 joules, into kilojoules so that my units match for both heat and work as I add them together. I throw this into my calculator and discover that the overall delta E for this process is negative 0.077 kilojoules. It also asks us to determine whether it's endothermic or exothermic. Now keep in mind this. The answer to this question only depends on the value of Q. If Q is positive, then it's endothermic. If it's negative, then it's exothermic. What in the world was Q? The original value given me was positive 0.763 kilojoules. Thus, this process is endothermic. Let's take a look at question B. How in the world do we do it? Well, once again, we use the previous equation. Delta E equals heat plus work. The tricky thing about this is determining the signs. Is heat positive or negative, and is work positive or negative? It tells us in this question that a system releases 66.1 kilojoules of heat to its surroundings. We imagine, once again, our system having 66.1 kilojoules inside its bank account and releasing those 66.1 kilojoules to its surroundings. Does that represent losing energy or gaining energy? It, of course, represents losing energy. Thus, that heat value is negative, and a negative value of heat is exothermic. Now, it tells us further that the surroundings do 44 kilojoules of work on the system. So does that mean W is positive or negative? Well, we imagine the surroundings depositing 44 kilojoules of work into the system's energy bank account. That is a deposit, thus it is positive. We have our values for Q and W. We now throw them into the equation and determine that the final answer is negative 22.1 kilojoules. Here's another example that I won't read to you or do for you, but will let you consider an attempt on your own. 